Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to do comments in assembly. So what is a comment? Well, we've got a comment right here and we've got them at the end of these lines. So you probably notice they all start with a semicolon and that is correct. All of them need to start with a semicolon. They don't need to end with anything in particular. Comments are something that don't actually get run in the code. So if I was to run this, we get hello world. And you know, none of this part here is getting run. So if I was to, you know, like get rid of that, that will not change the running of the application. So why would you want comments if they are never run? For two reasons. One, it allows you to describe some of your code, for example. So if you look at this, this is just saying put the offset of hello in ECX. So it's just moving it to the register. I'll cover that in all, you know, in full you know depth in separate videos so feel free to check, check all that out so it's a great way of just describing some code and because it's an assembly that most of the lines are being explained because you know can be pretty complex sometimes if you create your own function you might want to explain what that does or like a loop for example the other thing because it doesn't actually get called in the code you can actually comment out an entire line so if this line here actually prints it out so if i was to get rid of it and run it we get nothing. It works fine, but it doesn't actually print out the value. But imagine if we're testing and we have a bunch of bunch of new code lines that we've added. We don't know if they're going to work or not, or they're not working, but we're not too sure what's actually breaking it. We can press semicolon. This comments out this line of code. As you can see, it doesn't actually print it out. The benefit of doing this instead of deleting it is one, the code is still there. So you don't know whether you're going to need it or not. And if you start doing several changes, then deleting several changes, you might actually lose it in the in the buffer. So you might not be able to undo it. The other reason is maybe you forget to save it or you save it and close it and you can't actually go back to the old code you had. So this is a great way of just testing code, see how it works without a particular line or lines of code. So I could do this as well. And you can just comment code out. So comments good for descriptions and good for disabling code so it does not get run it's a core fundamental of all programming languages definitely recommend that you utilize them especially for you know just describing some of your code it can get a bit annoying but i definitely recommend doing it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video